Hello everyone, myself Dr. Manoj Kumar, working as an assistant professor in department of EC at MLR Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. I am here to deliver a lecture talk on transducer. So this is my overview of my presentation. First of all, I would like to discuss basic of transducer. Thereafter, I will take the classification of transducer. After that, working and finally, the application of transducer. So first of all, we would like to know what is transducer. As we can see that a transducer is a device which converts one form of energy to another form of energy. Or in other words, we can say that it converts the physical quantity to electrical or mechanical energy. Okay. So, a transducer is a basically a device which has capability to convert physical quantities into electrical or mechanical type of energies. Okay. So, here we can see in the block diagram, here one physical quantity temperature and the, with the help of transducer, it has been converted to some electrical signal. So, this is the basic example of a transducer. It will convert a physical quantity into some electrical or mechanical energies. Here in the diagram, we can see that one hand movement or clapping sound of a hand is being converted into electrical signal. Here we can see that one transducer is a transducer is there which is converting your clap sound into the electrical energy. So basically this is the example of a transducer. So transducer is a device which converts physical quantities into electrical signal or some mechanical displacement. So here we can see that what a transducer consists of. A transducer basically consists of a sensors and one transducing element. So here we will give some physical quantities. Physical quantity. Physical quantity may be length, mass, time or any physical quantity will given as an input signal. With the help of sensor, we will convert the physical quantity into some raw signal. After that, this raw signal will be processed and to give the final output signal with the help of a transducing element. So basically, a transducer consists of a sensor and transducing element. So this is the basic construction of a transducer. Best here we can see that electrical transducer, physical quantity we can give as an input and at the output we can expect a electrical signal. Likewise, for mechanical transducer, we can give the physical quantity and we can expect some mechanical type of output. It may be displacement or anything related to mechanical type of output. So, basically a transducer consists of a sensor and transducing element. Here you have to give the physical quantities. Sensor will convert the physical quantity into raw signal. After this raw signal will be converted into the final output signal with the help of a transducing element. Transducing element may be a capacitive type, resistive type or inductive type. In the later slide we will see what are different type of a transducing element. We will just like to classify what are different types of transducer. Here we can see that active transducer and passive transducer. Active transducer does not need any external power supply to be operated. Whereas passive signal, passive transducer needs some external power supply for its operation. We will see the example of active and passive transducer. So, Next classification is a primary transducer and secondary transducer. Primary transducer converts physical quantity into some displacement type of thing. The, those are called primary transducer. The output of primary transducer is converted to some electrical signal with the help of a secondary transducer. So basically, primary transducer converts 
physical quantity into some displacement type of thing. After that, secondary transducer converts that displacement or converts the output of a primary to the electrical signal. So, this is the concept of a primary and secondary transducer. Here also we can see the another classification analog transducer and digital transducer. If output of a transducer is an analog type of nature, we can say that it is an analog type of transducer. And whereas for the digital type of transducer, if the output is digital data, we can say that digital transducer. Here another classification transducer or inverse transducer, which converts physical to electrical is transducer and inverse is just the opposite phenomenon of a transducer. And the another is based on trans transduction element. Already I told that a transducer consists of a sensing element and a transducing element. So, based on transduction element, it the transducer may be a resistive type, may be a capacitive type, may be a inductive type. I would like to give the example of each type. Resistive type, you can have the potentiometer for the displacement measure. Capacitive type, the example is microphone. Inductive type, example is LVDT, linear variable differential transfer for the displacement measurement. So, these are the classification of a transducer. Active passive, primary, secondary, transducer, inverse transducer, analog, digital, resistive, capacitive, inductive. So, this is basically a transducer has been categorized in the following categories here. Now, I would like to give some examples which, trans, which type of transducer is used for which type of measuring physical quantities. Here we can see that for, me, for measurement of displacement, we can use resistive element, capacitive element, strain gauge, inductive, ED current, proximity sensor, differential transformers. For temperature, measuring the temperature, we can use thermistor, thermocouple, bimetallic strip. Okay. So, bimetallic strip, uh, I would just like to discuss in little bit for, about the bimetallic strip. Bimetallic strip were used in our earlier tube lights. Okay, this is nothing, a thin metal strip, when the temperature is sensed by this bimetallic strip, it shows some elongation or deformation in the shape. So, this bimetallic strip was in the, was used in the tube light. Now, for measuring the temperature, we can use the register temperature detectors, thermostat. Okay, these are the transducer for measuring the temperature. For measuring the lights, we can use photodiode, phototransistor, LDR. For velocity and motion, we can use the pyroelectric sensors, taco generators, encoders. So, these are the transducer for measuring the velocity and motion. For fluid pressure, we can use the pressure gauge, tactile sensor, piezoelectric sensors, etc. For liquid flow, we can use turbine meter, orifice plate, venturi tube. Okay. And for IR sensor, IR transmitter, receiver pair, we can use for force. We can use strain gauge, load cell, touch sensor, resistive touch or capacitive touch. For UV, we can use the UV light detector or germicidal UV detector. So, these are the some of the examples of transducer which are used to measure different, different physical quantities. Physical quantities may be a displacement, may be a temperature, may be a light, velocity and etc. thing. So, basically transducer, the main objective of a transducer is to measure the physical quantities. It may be displacement, temperature, light, velocity, anything related to the physical quantities. Here, just I would like to discuss the working principle of a transducer. How a transducer work? What is the basic principle of working of a transducer? Here we can see, here we will see one example of a mechanical transducer, how it is working. Here we can see that a mechanical transducer consisting of a gauge, okay, in which some springs are connected. Whenever the pressure is given to a spring, this needle moves automatically on the scale. So, force or pressure, which is a physical quantity, is being changed to the displacement. So, this is a type of a mechanical transducer. For mechanical transducer, already I told input should be a physical quantity. So, our input is pressure and output is the mechanical displacement of a needle. So, this is the working principle of a trans mechanical 
ट्रांसड्यूसर इन मैकेनिकल ट्रांसड्यूसर विल गेट द आउटपुट एज अ मैकेनिकल डिस्प्लेसमेंट टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स हियर विल सी द वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल ऑफ अ इलेक्ट्रिकल ट्रांसड्यूसर सो हियर वी कैन सी दैट वन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज बीइंग जनरेटेड बाय सम डिवाइस एंड व्हेनेवर द ऑब्जेक्ट कम्स नियर दिस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड्स कट बाय द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑटोमेटिक वन इलेक्ट्रिक पल्स इज जनरेटेड सो दिस इज द एग्जांपल ऑफ अ इलेक्ट्रिकल ट्रांसड्यूसर सो इन मैकेनिकल ट्रांसड्यूसर वी कैन यूज द spring as a transducing element and here we can generate in electrical transducer we can use electric field for or magnetic field for detecting any object or anything so this is the working principle of mechanical and electrical transducer next here we will see a very important working principle of passive and active transducer already i told in passive transducer we need some external power supply for its operation whereas in active transducer we can see that there is no external power supply required for the its operation so here in passive transducer we can see that we have taken one example of lvdt so it has coil and core when core moves automatic the voltage change okay due to relative change in the magnetic field and this core a voltage is generated so displacement of this core is being being measured in terms of voltage so this is the working principle of a passive transducer passive transducer always always need some external power supply for its operation okay now here in the active transducer we can see that one piezoelectric material is there piezoelectric material is nothing it is naturally occurring substance in the form of sands those are called piezoelectric material okay so these are naturally occurring substance whenever some pressure is applied to the piezoelectric material some voltage is generated okay so this is the principle of a active transducer and it does not required any external power supply for its operation so this was the working principle of active and passive transducer now we will see some application of transducer in daily life we have to use the transducer so for diagnostic application we can use the sound wave with the help of loud speaker so micro can microphone what it is doing it is converting the sine wave to the electric signal here and this electric signal again converted to the sound wave so this is also one of the application of a transducer thank you